tons of uh, cross timbers bison, you may enjoy this. So uh, tune in later. Okay, this explains a little bit of what happened to the buffalo. Buffalo soldier patch. Buffalo ammonia cleaner. This is a picture of a buffalo. Here are some articles made from the buffalo. A breastplate made from buffalo ribs. Guessing this is par fleece, uh, parchment made from buffalo. Well, oh, it wasn't a breastplate; it was a buffalo ribbed sled. The par fleece made of buffalo raw hide. Bisonberry pounding bowl. That's this right here. Here This is what in this right here is this real meat. The native uh, grass in in the sand hills that the uh, buffalo dined on. It's good for Part of the problem was the uh, competition for grass and water when the huge herds of livestock started in the 1800s. There's a little story on that. They were killed not only for their hides and some for their meat, they were also just eliminated so that they weren't competing with the beef industry in the Great Plains. It's an example of the hide trade.
Here we have a painting of the buffalo herd. Beautiful picture of the buffalo on the prairie. Okay, this is a uh, back from the break of extinction. We have a lot of uh, buffalo ranches like uh, Cross Timber Tyson, the one I watch on YouTube. And we got uh, herds in, large herds in Nebraska. And, a lot of different buffalo ranches. Ted Turner comes to mind as one of them. Here we have a chart on the viability and sustainability of the buffalo. It's the rise and fall of prices. Currently, Prices on heifer calves, bull calves, two-year-old bulls, and mature cows. USDA wholesale carcass prices. You can see that they've slowly went up in price to around five dollars a pound the weight comparison Whatever win the lottery, I'm going to have a bison ranch. <laughs> So a little on the uh, Bison Society in America and the registry started tracking the bloodlines and the amount of buffalo in 1980, I believe. Here's a bison certificate of registration. Buffalo County Sheriff's. I like, I like these. They're awesome. I think I got correct. Tells what his bloodlines were. Metal. That's the. Here's uh, all the pertinent data. And the uh, preservation movement started.
And Penny O coins. The buffalo image. Just a little information on the when public awareness uh, started and Roosevelt's interest in the in the buffalo. So here is a number of uh, a pile of bison bones, and they utilize these for. different tools. Here's some arrowheads used for hunting. These were approximately 6,000 years old. And we have the slightly older variety, 6,300 years old. These are 7,000 years old. And these approximately 7,100 years old. Here are some more examples of hunting arrows. Here's some examples of scrapers and tools that were used in the Indians harvesting of the buffalo. These are articles made pottery for food storage. These are uh, some tools made from buffalo.
Okay, here's a coat made from buffalo hide that was uh, worn by the buffalo soldiers. This is a picture of Red Cloud, leader of the Ogallala Sioux, in his chest metal. There's the story. This is an example of uh, early Dakota beadwork. Rather intricate design, very small beads. Very well preserved for, for the age. Here's a head ornament that was a gift from the uh, Ponca Chief Standing Bear. And here's the story. Okay, here's an example of some of the different types of barbed wire that were used on the plains of Nebraska in the early years. Okay, here we uh, have a historical marker from the Lincoln Highway Association. And apparently the owner of this diary was ambushed. Let's run down the history of the diary here. This isn't exactly a buffalo exhibit, but this is about a testing for a driverless car in 1957. Looks like they had a 57 Chevy set up to do a driverless car demonstration. And here is the radio involved. too sophisticated but definitely a first. Here we have a video of the raising of the sower to the top of the Nebraska State Capitol. And this is uh, in 1930. Eight and a half tons being lifted to the top of the Capitol. Okay, this is the way the mail was delivered. In early Nebraska Prairie. 
First, I want to say I apologize. My space has uh, been taken over by sewing paraphernalia, well, something which I have no control over. Uh, I want to thank you if you enjoyed the movie at the uh, Nebraska Historical Museum. It was fairly short. I didn't want to bog it down. I added a few items that weren't bison related. And as I said before, I did uh, interchange bison and buffalo as, as they did in the Old West. And, uh, but I'm here to tell you, as uh, I believe Dusty from Cross Timbers Bison would tell you, that the real name is neither bison nor buffalo. It's the... Uh, Lakota Sioux name for the buffalo and as we know they were calling the bus buffalo Tantaka, Tantaka I believe it is, uh, long before the uh, white man had gotten here so that's the uh, true name not bison or buffalo. Hey I thank you for your support and like and subscribe check out the t-shirts uh, I've noticed there's been some comments, but the comments aren't coming through. I don't know if I've violated some uh, YouTube rule on the t-shirt giveaway. But just if you want to get on the, in on the uh, giveaway, just comment yes. And then we'll get together somehow and uh, work it out. And the winner will get uh, the t-shirt of their choice. Well, that's all for now. Keep uh, working on your projects and uh, come on back for more. Thank you.